Listening twenty four. Listen and read. Lost at the carnival. It was the sunniest day of the year. Harry and Emily were very excited because they were at the carnival with their mum and dad. Harry had a superhero costume with a long red cape. Emily was dressed up as a pop star, with a sparkly dress and sunglasses. Harry and Emily loved the parade. They waved at the floats and they looked at all the wonderful costumes and masks. They danced to music from the band. Just then, a crowd of dancers and people on stilts came down the street. The dancers moved between Harry and his family. Harry tried to push through the crowd, but the dancers moved too fast. Harry couldn't get away, so he moved down the street with the dancers. Suddenly, Harry thought he saw a stage. He climbed onto it and looked around for his parents. But then Harry started to move. He wasn't on a stage; he was on a float with a lot of dancers on it. Harry picked up a microphone. Hello. He said, and his voice came through all the speakers in the street. I'm Harry. Mum, Dad, Emily, can you hear me? Harry saw his mum and dad running through the crowd. Where, where have, have you, you been? been? They said. And, and where's Emily? I don't know. Said Harry. I thought Emily was with you. Listening twenty five. Listen to what happens next. Were you right? The dancers were in front of Emily, and she couldn't see Harry. Just then, a crowd of people on stilts walked between Emily and her parents. The people on stilts were a lot taller than Emily. She couldn't push through the crowd, and she was scared. She moved down the street with the crowd. Suddenly, Emily heard a voice. It came from the speakers in the street. Emily, where are you? Can you hear me? It was Harry. Emily shouted Harry's name, but the music was too loud. Just then. A man on stilts looked down and saw Emily. Are you okay? He asked. No, said Emily. My brother is calling me, but I can't see him. The man lifted Emily up. Now she was high enough to see Harry on the float. She shouted and waved to Harry. Harry saw her and waved back. Emily's parents laughed when they saw Emily on top of the crowd. The man on stilts put Emily down, and she ran to meet Harry and her parents. She was glad to be back with her family again. Now they could enjoy the rest of the carnival.